Here are some guidelines on the proper care and usage of your rope and the difference between a manila rope, a poly rope, and our nylon covered rope. A manila rope should predominantly be used for outdoor, garage, or basement type training where it's an area you can sweep up or you don't mind if the rope fiber sh uh, shed. Also, manila ropes are treated with a natural mineral oil that can put off an odor, so they shouldn't be stored indoors in a closed area, but in a well-ventilated area. With use, that odor will dissipate and the rope will shed less. Poly ropes can be used indoors or out because they're synthetic. And if a poly rope becomes wet, it doesn't have any problem with shrinkage, like a manila rope could shrink up to a whole foot if it got damp or wet from outdoor use. So we do not recommend that you store your manila ropes outdoors. Also, it can even mold if you left it outdoors and it got too, if it got wet. Poly rope does not have that problem. Another thing is our nylon covered rope. The nylon covered rope comes with a built-in anchor strap so that you can connect your rope quickly to an eye hook by using a snap hook or you can use a loose anchor strap and you can connect the loose anchor strap to your anchor point and then just connect it right to your built-in anchor strap on your nylon covered rope. Now if you have a manila or a poly rope, you would need a pair of loose anchor straps. Our single and our pair come with the carabiner. We recommend that you attach your rope to a fixed anchor point, like an eye hook in the wall, or a power rack or a weight bench, or a fixed object of some kind. If you use kettlebells or something like that, make, you, make sure you use enough weight so that it doesn't slide and move. So the best rope for overall training indoor or out is your poly rope, inch and a half. Then we recommend your covered rope for indoor training, whether it's for commercial gym use, boot camp, and then the manila rope is best for outdoor type training. We also recommend that you do not use your rope for sled pulling, rope climbing, or any other use other than its specific intention. You could damage your handles or your rope or cause bodily harm.